Only of Ife's Ayaba Olori Ashley has come out after a long time of social media to share a video in remembrance of her dear father who passed on many years ago. Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube TV. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an existing viewer, thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and drop your beautiful and constructive comments in the comment section below. Ayaba Ashley is somebody we know very well, though she's been on a long break from social media for several months for reasons best known to her. But I must say that sometimes taking a break off social media is actually very good for one's mental health because especially if you're in the public light and most especially because she came into her subconsciousness, you know, last year, um, towards the end of last year when she was posting and just doing her own thing in her corner. And there were a lot of innuendos up and down about, you know, capping it all with what happened between Olori Naomi and her husband, Oni of Ife. So it was really, really a very up and down moment for her last year. But, you know, being the wise person that she is, you know, she's a woman who is very independent on her own, who has built herself from a very good pedigree and all of that. So sometimes you just need to know when to apply the bricks. And that is what life is all about. We all get to that point where we just tell ourselves, okay, enough. I need to take a break of this and everything. So, since then, we've missed our post online and all of that. But today, she's decided to share a remembrance to remember her dearest father. As you can see, they have a striking re resemblance. Yeah, the very striking re resemblance. And of course, you know, for any one of us who have lost a parent, either a father or a mother, you know how it still hurts. No matter how long it's been, you know, there's still always that thing of, you know, we want them to be alive forever and ever. So let me share the rights up she put on her social media about her late father. She said, I can't tell you, daddy, how many times I've cried since the day you passed away. It seems so impossible, although I know it's true as everything I see around me reminds me of you. I can still hear your laughter and see your smiling face. I would have lost my sanity if not for God's saving grace. If I could write a story, it would be the greatest ever told of a kind and loving father who had the heart of gold, whose legacy I have always followed. I could write a million pages, but still be unable to say just how much I love and miss you every single day. I remember my father for all he gave me, his wisdom, his humor, these memories I save. He was a man of his word, soft-spoken um, at times, but always heard. My father was capable and strong with caring and kindness carried along. I remember my father. He was respected, revered, with honest convictions, not easily stirred. Debbie, a handsome gent with love in his eyes and moments. I always remember my father whenever I see that i have done my best to be all that i can be oh this is nice um happy posthumous birthday prince jacob adebi adegoki my father in whom i'm well pleased whom i'm well pleased omo adagba komo yekun omo oni lafogidi omo oni adagbe ekun baba de ronke baba de yemi baba folasha de Baba de wale oran mo ni she fire ti o toju alejo toju onile omo irin meje meje igidara sha ajima sapon agba oba giri eran ko bi ekun omo ade doja omo elu yeju continue to rest in peace de bi signed a royal highness ashley afola shade wow this is really very touching you know, our parents are priceless and honestly, there are some parents that, you know, even if they are no more, anytime you remember their impact or what you, they would have done if they were alive to affect your life further, you can't just help but, you know, remember or possibly break down in tears in their memory. As you can see her kneeling beside her father's tombstone and all of that. So, this is Olori actually pouring outside, sharing the vulnerable part of her you know, to, to that she's missing her father. It's there's always this thing, especially if you have a very good loving father that impacted you. And as a girl, 
there's something between daughters and fathers that you know it's a bond that it's very hard to break found baba too and she did beat father because some people's father Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some people, have, some fathers are not worth, you know, even celebrating for one minute because there's no memory. They were never there from the beginning to the end. And well, whatever it is, even if one has gone through that, love should still flow from one's heart so that one will not pass on generational, you know, concerns to the children and all of that. So this is a very good one for Olori. Yeah, but Ashley sharing a part of her that, well, is not known to the public. And from just taking a break from our silence to celebrate our father is a good one. It's a good one. We, everybody knows that she's from a royal family as well, from Ile Ife. And, you know, from everything we've been hearing, as a daughter of the soil, she knows the traditions, she knows the culture. So she, she knows what it is to be from a royal family and all of that. And one laudable thing also is, is the fact that, you know, that's why the fact that she stayed abroad, she studied abroad. She has a child abroad. She never forgets her roots. She's never ashamed of being traditional. And that's one very rare thing these days. You know, a lot of us, once we travel out of the country or we're privileged to study abroad or live abroad, we tend to forget where we are coming from. We don't even want to associate with things like that. But for her, she's very unapologetic. You know, she'll wear a white attire proudly, even in different styles. He does the Yoruba, Yoruba thing, Ewi, um, Oriki. And, you know, that's that's us. That's all we are. And it's, it's very commendable when you still find people who are very cosmopolitan, but still are very proud of their roots and heritage. So we wish um, Ayaba Ashley, you know, you know, what should I wish her now? Let's say peace, more peace, because obviously she has really rested from social media, palava up and down and all of that. And, um, yeah, it's a good thing that she decided to share this part of her to the world, to appreciate her father's memory on his posthumous birthday and all of that. So, good to see her once again. And who knows what she's going to come out with next. But whatever decision she has taken for herself to be out of social media, it should be 100% respected because, hey, do you. Do your life. Choose when you're out of social media or when you want to be on social media or whatever you want to share on social media. Because life goes on and nobody is in anybody's shoes to really understand what he or she is going through or what, you know, when to apply the brakes and all of that. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. May his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. And to all of us who have lost our parents, may their souls continue to rest in peace. Bye for now.